Welcome back to the Morning Blind, where we are cooking with Thunder Bay. Macaroni and cheese is probably the ultimate comfort food today. Today, we are taking the American steak. Oh, I can't yeah. talk. She's just so fluss, flustered from We're taking this <laughs> staple up a notch or two or three, maybe. <laughs> Chef Mike is back from Thunder Bay with its dish that's a part of their newly revised menu, which they're starting today. Good to see you, Mike. Morning, ladies. Good to see you, Mike. Were Thank you, you. Uh, practicing your yoga moves during the commercial break? Yeah, I was. I feel cheese. all limber now. I'm ready to make mac and cheese yeah. because you have to be properly prepared for this sort of uh, sort of an event. So yeah, yeah I'm, right. I'm ready to roll. Got to be flexible to cook. And yes, this, indeed. It's not just any mac and cheese. No, this is special, no, no, right? no. This this is a, a definitely a kicked up version of mac and cheese. Um, out of Thunder Bay, we like to do things with a little bit of you know extra flavor to it, and this kind of actually has some of the flavors that go into a jambalaya. So it's got a little bit of a Cajun um, type of an edge to it, and we turn it into a mac and cheese. I this love is Wisconsin. It when you say jambalaya. So we, jambalaya. Yeah. I love it. Speaking of don't that, don't forget it. Fat Tuesday is coming up next month on the 28th, Ooh. which means shrimp remoulade. Yes. Yes, I know that's like, one of your right. one of your favorite times of year, the it shrimp is. remoulade that season. Shrimp remoulade, man. I just want to like spoon it get, into my mouth. Get your reservations early because that always fills up. Every day is February twenty eighth. So we are starting here with a little bit of olive oil in the pan, and then we're going to put some andouille sausage in the pan. Mm -hmm. Now andouille sausage is a Cajun sausage. Uh, it's got pork in there. It's got some red pepper in there. A little bit of spice. Uh, spice nothing, already. nothing too heavy, but a little bit of spice going on. Mm -hmm. uh, to that, we're going to add a little bit of minced garlic. It's just garlic that's chopped up real fine. We're going to get that in there since we already have the meat in there. That way it'll help to season up the meat a little bit extra as we get that going. Okay, so I think I heard this and asked you about it once, but people say if you add garlic in early, yeah. it'll be less strong at the end. Yeah, but you got to be careful because if you get it in there too early and it burns, it ruins your whole dish and you got no choice but to oh, start over. Good to know. So yeah. then to that, we're going to add some Cajun tasso ham. Now what this is, is actually pork shoulder that's cured um, and it has some of the similar flavors to what we have going on already in the andouille sausage in there. Um, it's salty, it's a little bit spicy, uh, it's got a real nice depth of flavor. So we got, mm. um, we got the andouille sausage, we've got the tasso ham, we let that all kind of cook together a little bit mm. and then we're going to give that a little bit of drink of some sherry wine, oh, oh. which is going to add a little bit of sweetness to it and a little bit of extra flavor. And then another thing that that's going to do is it's going to help to prevent that garlic from burning a little bit and it'll help to raise up anything that wants to stick to the bottom of the pan. It's called deglazing the pan. Okay. If you pour in a little bit of wine and it just loosens all the, the good stuff that gets stuck to the bottom the pan before it burns and turns into not so good stuff. That's what I'm yeah. going to call it every time I drink wine from now on. I'm just deglazing myself. Deglazing myself, <laughs> yes. Deglazing. Deglazing my digestive <laughs> tract. So to that we're going to add some. Some days you need to deglaze more than others. This is true. This is true. <laughs> So to that we're going to add some uh, roasted chicken. So this is uh, whole chicken that we cook in the oven until it starts to fall apart. We pull that off the bone. We throw that in there as well. See what I like about this mac and cheese is it's not just pasta. It's not just carbs. You got a lot of protein in exactly. it. Exactly. It is packed full of protein. We're going to add a couple of tomatoes in there. Wow. And then to that we are going to add some heavy cream, which we've reduced down a little bit, and that's going to be the basis of our sauce. What, how do you reduce it down? Does that mean just cook it? That means just let it cook to down it? until it reduces in volume by about okay. half. So that just kind of thickens up all the flavors that are in there a little bit. Ooh, what was this? That is smoked Gouda cheese because this is Wisconsin and we were making mm. mac and cheese. Uh -oh. And then to that we we're going to add our pasta, which is our oh, cavatappi toss pasta. It with it. Yep, okay. we toss that all together right in there. And then we let that cook together until it thickens up really nice. And then you have your. Uh, Mac and cheese here. That is awesome. Okay, this chicken and tasso mac and cheese, is it available on your menu anywhere? Yeah, well, yes, as a matter of fact, it is. <laughs> How funny that you should ask. Yeah, it's, it was it's just something you dreamed up for fun. Is it by any chance on your menu? Yeah, it is. It's on the lunch menu and the Mike. and the dinner menu. Sorry. I know you're a good cook, but are you any, by any chance a chef somewhere? Yeah, you know, I do on occasion happen to step into the kitchen and do some cooking. Um, do it on TV once in a while as well. So here we have our mac and cheese with tasso ham and dewey sausage. We got a little bit of tomatoes in there as well. Um, and then to finish that off, we just put in a little bit of breadcrumbs on the top to give it a little bit of texture. And then we put a little bit of green onions on there as well. Yeah. And there you have it. How do you keep the, the why doesn't your cheese get oh, wow. stringy? Like it, well, it depends on what cheese you use. You really want to make sure that you use a cheese that's going to have a really good melting ability yeah. to it. Like if you were to use mozzarella, or something like that yeah, in there, provolone, so yeah, it turns real stringy. It's still tasty, but it, it's kind of a different texture. Yeah. So you want to be sure you use a cheese that melts really well. Okay. Oh my God. I had a really big bite here. Yum. Don't be afraid. 
Take it down. It's good. I thought it was going to taste kind of like really mm. light in the cheese. No, that is like super yummy. Cheese. Yeah, I mean, and that mm. smoked gouda wow. really complements the sausages and things that you have in there. And like I said, it's, wow. a, it's got a bold flavor to it, but it's not it's not overly spicy or anything. Oh like my that. gosh. No, it's not that spicy at all. No, chicken and tasso, mac and cheese on the menu, Thunder Yum. Bay Grill, lunch, dinner. You can also get this as a side if you want to come out and try it and you don't want to have the full full size portion, you can get a side of it as well. No you way. just made my day. Way. That's awesome. I'm serious. All right. Seriously. Life is good. All right, up next, if you've got a college bound child in, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, we didn't even address it. Thunder Bay, that's where you go, Pewaukee. Brand new menu today, thunderbaygrill.com. Ask for Mike to come out and sit with you for a minute when you get there. <laughs> Please, yeah. yeah, do. I have all kinds of time. There you go. Extra. <laughs> ah, thanks, Mike. Thank you. <laughs>